Hello everyone and welcome to the Kansas Speedway um, for the Rockstar Cup Series race here. Um, this is round number... Um, hang on, I'm checking. I believe this is round 11. Yes, round 11 or 10, one of those. But on your poll we have Brian Goldberg scoring his first poll of the season, I believe. Right next to him, we have his um, Goldberg Motorsports teammate of Robert Goldberg. Excuse me, right there. We have Albert Wandley, um, followed by Raymond Fisher. Um, hang on. Uh, we have Gabriel Wanderley, followed by Malik Nevins. Um, we have a new starter here in the Cup Series. This is Heather Galloway. Let me see if it's Heather. Yeah, Heather. Heather Galloway is making her first uh, debut here in the um, Cup Series. She had a really great qualifying run. Car was looking extremely fast. And we have another female on the outside of her is Rosa De Rosa Feliciana da Silva. Um, then we have Tyler Markell, Jeff Bright, Henry Williams, and John Gilbert. Here's the rest of your field. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. Also making their debut is Zachary Fitzwater Sr. He's moved up to the Cup Series, um, replacing Davidson for not commenting. <coughs> Excuse me right there, my throat is really itchy. So Zachary Fitzwater Sr. making his debut here in the Cup Series. We have Allison Smith, followed by Kenneth Harvey Jr., Tommy Turbo, and yeah, the rest of your... You know. Oh, and also we have... um. I've completely forgot the first name already. Samet. Samet Oskin. I believe that's how you pronounce it. He also making his debut in the um, ent entire NROPL um, division. So, yeah, he's starting towards the rear here. And in the final rows, we have Chris Dodd, Edward Mendez, and Buford. Running out your field here. Let's get you... Uh, Get you to the commands. Okay, NASCAR fans, let's say it together. Drivers, start your engines. Engines are fired here. Let's watch as the drivers roll off. Hopefully, no one has any issues. Oh, someone did. Um. Someone had an issue that was a 16 of John Gilbert and John Gilbert once again having issues with his ride We saw in a truck race last night um, blew his engine blew a gearbox while um, leading the race blew it on the caution and Now this this is not it's a, not a good weekend for John Gilbert here As coming out of turn four pace car pulls down a pit road Green flag is out of Kansas. Oh shit, I always fucking do that. Never mind, I'm, I'm just gonna not do that again. Clear. But yeah, we are green at Kansas now. Elba Wanderley settles in second already. Gabriel Wanderley right beside her. I'm not sure what's the relationship right there. You should probably tell me. Have these guys been commenting? Oh. 18 almost stood up into the 14 here and we saw last night this is a trouble spot for a lot of drivers and there they go that's Jesse Turner around in the 26 yeah, right in front of the field. Gonna be out. 43 involved, the 34, the 21, 32, 48 of James Bowles involved, 13 and caution is out on lap 1 here as these guys are going to race it wreck again. Okay, I think these guys are just slowing down, but these guys are racing back fine. As leading back to the line is Alba Wanderley in the 31. We are under caution for the first time tonight. It's you. Here's a look at what I brought out our second caution of the night. It's a similar, very similar to what happened in the truck race to brought out our first caution. The 19 gets into the wall, and then the 16 gets right into his right or his left rear right there, and then goes around in front of everyone. Look at the 38. Great job dodging it right there. 
13 didn't get through the 43 34 all those guys coming in late here's how these guys got involved 14 went the 24 went down into 32 end of 34 right in front of the 21 james bowles nowhere to go gets heavy hood damage and some rear end damage as well tough luck for james bowles having to start in the rear doing to, due to nro peels um um the, the way they qualify he was um didn't get a lot of time to go out on the track on board James Bowles. Hold your line. Right here in front of you. Yeah, he just had nowhere to go right there in that wreck. Tough luck for him. On board a 38. Hold your line. Go low, go low. He did a great job of dodging that wreck, but right here, the, 20, the 95 gets into the wall and then actually gets into the 38 and Monaco heavy damage, damage for him right there, the 95 of um, Jeff like Forkin right back there. Tough luck for him as he goes around. That was your caution for the night. Let's get you back to the restart. Getting set to go back green here. Um, here's your look at your cars out of the race, 13 and the 16, broke a camshaft this time. Um, one car is a lap down, that is James Bowles. Here's a look at your top 10 on the right hand side of your screen. As Pace Car pulls down a pit road. And... Green, green, green. is out. And James Bowles looking like he's going to be slow. That's going to be a problem for a lot of these guys. Careful. Nice and patient. Everyone makes it around him so far. 20. 88, his own teammate Nick Smith gets stuck right behind him here. Nick Smith loses a whole lot of positions and grounds after that. We're going to keep an eye here on the 48. Holding up the inside lane now. He's now pushed the high line. Nineteen and others going around him. He's holding up the three right now of uh oh careful four almost four wide right, right there. He's holding up um Wreck up front. Careful. One car Yellow upside down. down. That is Malik Nevins. Is gonna be out. Jet Porkins once again involved. Nevins upside down. I think I saw the. As we are under caution again for the second time tonight, let's get you a look at what happened. Man. So this is a bit of a situation. Here's a look at what happened to bring out our second caution. Heather Galloway in the one gets hooked by Malik Nevins. Sends her down. This is her first start, by the way. Sends her all the way down past the white lines. And she basically got revenge right here. Comes right back up on the track and gets into Nevins right there. And Nevins goes upside down and... Man, this is her first race, and that's gonna, that's not gonna be result in a good. Um, oh, and the 95 also gets a piece of it. So um, that was a bit of an instant coma right there for the 22 of Nevins. I'm pretty sure neither of those drivers, drivers are happy. Here's another look at it again. Yeah, he goes up into the tent, uh, into the one, as if he meant to do it, and she saves it from hitting that inside wall down there. But then, surprise, surprise, comes right back up on the track and rides right into Nevins. Both drivers going into the wall hard. Nevins, of course, probably getting the worst of it as he goes upside down. Ninety-five getting into the one right there, and he goes around right in front of the thirty-eight. Thirty-eight barely gets by right there, and. Tough luck for Jack Porkins right there. So that was your caution for, that was your second caution as we're going to take you back to the green flag. Getting set to go back green here. They did make pit stops. William Brock is your leader, the only driver to take two times. 
um, James Bowles and Malik Nevins. Nevins is actually still out on a track and he is not happy at all with the one car. Um, second is Alvaro Wanderley, um, Gabriel Wanderley, Jonathan Reigns, Chris Dodd, Markel, Harvey Jr., Williams, Gordon, and Fisher runs out your top 10. Out of these guys looking for their first win and first career win of the season. William Brock is your leader. Green flag. Green flag. Can be dealing with slow cars here. I'm gonna keep an eye on these guys once again. Right behind there. As Bobby Gordon gets held up along with others. Where do you go? Looks like the outside line is the way to go here. These guys gonna now. James Bowles gets shoved to the middle line, so the inside and middle line both gets mixed up here. In the middle, three wide. His in the middle, three wide. To the outside line by his teammate Raymond Fisher. Careful. Three wide. Oh, four wide. Oh, careful, you guys. Fisher nearly turning the 22 right there. Now Fisher getting held up. 22 and the 10 make contact. Uh, they're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. Left side, three wide. gets into the wall. He's even more slow. The four car way down on the apron. Four wide. And Bowles goes around. Caution Four drivers out. goes around. Oh, wow. Why is it still... Okay, so we just missed that entire. Caution is out for the second time. Leading it to the line is the 18th April on the lead. So, caution is out again for the third time tonight. Let's get you a look. So, here's a look at what I brought in the caution. The day just continues to go from bad to worse for James Bowles in the 48. Already having a couple wins this season. Already locked in the chase. Gets into the wall, then gets down into the six. And those guys did wreck in front of him, I believe, as he goes sliding there. See what happened with these guys. They actually were able to save it. Yes, they were. So that was your caution for tonight. Your Daytona 500. Oh, holy shit. Jesse Turner right there almost T-boned the 48. So caution is out for the third time tonight. Let's get you back to the restart. Getting set to go back green here. We do have under 10 laps to go. Coming to the line will be eight laps to go. So no lap cars will start on the inside. As Gabriel Wanderley leads Tyler Markell, Elbro Wanderley, um, Henry Williams, and William Brock holding his own right there in the top five. Green, green flag is back out. Markell to the outside, Elbro Wanderley to his inside. A lot of these guys up here looking for their first win. Look at William Brock. He's up here running with these guys here. Nice and easy. Just keep doing what As he's doing. trying to take the third position from Tyler Markell, he will. Another surprising driver up here is the 44 of Jonathan Reigns. Your Xfinity Series winner out at Dega, I believe it was. As battle for the lead. Can these guys actually make it on fuel? There's another question. Markel into the wall. Battle for the lead. Wanderlees. Not sure what the relationship is there once again. Elbow um, Wanderlee now takes the lead from Gabriel Wanderlee. Well, Wanderlee fighting right back door. on the outside. Overdrives it just a little bit right there. Wasn't enough to get the lead as we are still. Yes, we're probably still in the face. But it can have one more wreck in it. Probably right now. No, hopefully. William Brock now is going to lose the position. As he gets into the part of their battle. Lee Gibb won him nearly turning, but 31 right there. Let's ride on board with him here. Still there? As he goes right by 31. Clear all around, all clear. As Wanderley takes the lead now, Elba Wanderley settles in second. Elba Wanderley looking to be the first female ever to win in the Cup Series. We know we had a female win out in the um, Xfinity Series at Vegas last season. Ooh, Chris Dodd, he was also up here running in the top six, but now losing a whole bunch of positions right there after getting into the wall. 
Bobby Gordon is also up here. A lot of surprising drivers up here tonight. Also, look at this. Running in the top 10. Al Oskin in the three car after being held up by a lap car, slow car earlier. He's up here running in the seventh position right behind Jennifer Buford, another driver having a great run. So a lot of well-needed good runs for these guys up here. Gabriel Wanderley looking for his first win in the Cup Series. Coming to the lineup will be three laps to go. Any wreck now and the race is over. So these guys are going to have to do all they can to catch up to the 18 here. Hoping to pass before anything happens. Uh, Hopefully uh, it doesn't happen. Markel once again trying to run the outside line. Not going to work. He gets into the wall and gets slowed down. Last week's winner up here, Jeff Bright, he's going to try to get um, get up here and try to possibly get another win. I don't know if they can catch the 18 as he's out there on his own. Coming to the line, five, two five, five. laps to go for Gabriel Wanderley. Looking for career win number one in the Cup Series as probably not going to catch those guys. Take a look at everyone else. Hopefully we can stay guys. As William Brock's fall in the 14th, therefore don't turn out. She was having a good run there for him as he falls back in the 14th. As there are three wide, but coming to the line. White flag, White flag is time. out for Gabriel Wanderley trying to make the chase. He has his teammate Henry Williams right behind him. Wanderley Motorsports teammates one and two here. Up in Wanderley having a great run here. Looks like she won't be able to pull off the win, but. And look at this. Three of Oskin running in the top, trying to get it in the top five. But out of turn four, checkered Check flag, out. Gabriel Wanderley wins at Kansas. Awesome! Awesome! Gabriel Wanderley scores career win number one here. Yeah, that's it. Good job, Carl. Good job. Nice driving. He now locks himself Good job, guys. In another number that locks themselves in the chase here. As Wanderley Motorsports is going to go two for two here, winning last week at Tyler Lake and winning this week at Unbelievable. Kansas. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank they you, guys. They had a one-two finish awesome. last week also awesome. at Tyler Lake and gets a one-two finish here at Kansas. So, looks like Wanderley Motorsports is trying to be the dominant team here as we move onward with the season. We're going to look at the full race results here. Gabriel Wanderley comes out on top. on his first career win in the Cup Series. Henry Williams comes home second. Uh, Alba Wanderley comes home third, Jeff Bright fourth, Tana Markell fifth, Jennifer Buford, a great run for her. She comes home sixth, Raymond Fisher seventh. Um, that's Samet. can never remember that name. Samet Oskin, he comes home in eighth place. So eighth place for his first ever start here in the Cup Series. Great run for him. Nick Smith comes home ninth, and um, Ben or Brian Goldberg runs out your top ten. Um, let's see, William Brock ended up finishing 17th right there. Um, let's see, where's the other starters? Zachary Fitzwater Sr. comes home 24th in his first ever start. Not too bad, but considering we only have 34 drivers on the field, it's eh. Um, also, let's see, the one, <coughs> the one of, um, Heather Galloway, she retired after an incident with the 22. Four cars were a lap down. Three of them retired. Um, the rest of the 32 did finish the race on the lead lap. Let's get you down to victory lane where Gabriel Wanderley celebrates win number one in the Rockstar Cup Series.